All right, folks, big month here on the channel. Like, like not really big news, but a lot of projects to get through. Well, okay, I don't want get through to sound too much like, uh, get through, because that would seem like I don't care, and I do care very much. Making YouTube product videos is a very rewarding thing to do. I mean, it's like not like anyone's forcing me to do it. <laughs> oh, just, just acting natural here. Now we're bringing back a quick look here because it's really convenient for me right now for the Jack Wolves Midnight Jack. So I'm going to take the edge off after everybody goes to sleep, I'm right. The quick look here did pretty well on the one shovel video I did and uh, tanked on the other so it makes sense to bring them back again, okay? Anyway, you know Jack Wolf Knives by now and I've done a full review of the Sharpshooter Jack which I gave away on the Instagram feed to a lucky person. That was a review sample. You're no philanthropist. No, no, that's exactly how philanthropy works, okay? You give away your ill-gotten gains and everyone loves you. And since then, I'd also done some traditional overview videos featuring their laid-back jack, which is their swayback. You may not have seen that one, or you also didn't watch another one about the Barlow and the boys' knives. That one featured the little bro jack in 25 minutes or so of my talking. Of course, none of these are currently available right now as the runs have sold out. He'll, he'll make them again at some point, Ben, over with Jack Wolf knives, so don't worry. The runs are coming back. But for now, Jack Wolf is focused on getting out the different patterns, you know? They started doing that this year. And they'll go back and revisit the sold out ones, I'm sure. Unless he says they won't. Now looking at the mentions of the Coffin Jack style here, you know, that's in reference to the handle shape. Like coffin, dead dudes, graveyards. Not like coughing, like <laughs> the little wolf guy hacking like he has emphysema, a little cigarette coming out of his mouth. He's, he's the knife bros Joe Camel. Okay, I don't know where I'm going with this other than... A Smoking is cool. I think we should start smoking again. So the Midnight Jack here has a coffin handle pattern. Well, rather a coffin barlow as evidenced by the large bolster area. Now knives with the coffin pattern are out there. They are not super, you know, prevalent. They're, they're out there, but you know. The best examples are the Case Tony Bowes collaborations, which make GE secondary prices look very normal. Saw a post recently on the forums where people were getting in getting in on the real good deal of maybe $300 on an unnamed retailer. I couldn't figure out who it was. They have to speak in code over there though, of course, because you can't talk about where you buy your knives in the knife forum thread. Anyway, let's take a look at the blade. Now, like all of the Jack Wolf current runs, this blade is made from the M390s. I say I've said the M390s so many times lately. And it features a nice hollow grind. And in what will get the shepherd's blood pumping, the blade here features a very well proportioned and sexy sheep's foot with a great brushed finish. Instead of the nail nick here, we've traded it out for a long pole, which is the longer, you know, you, nail goes in there, you pull it, a long pole. Although having experienced all the Jack Wolf knives, I tend to just grab the blade, you know, with my pinch it between my thumb and my pointer finger because it's flared enough to give a grip and they are not super light poles. I tend to like to grab a blade anyway because of my soft, jagged, vitamin deficient fingernails. As a personal preference, so I've always liked the looks of the nail nicks and the long poles over the function of them. I got, I got a bunch of old knives that have the fingernail nicks and they become like unopenable without a pair of pliers after some time and I just I, I just like to be able to, to pinch and pull. Now the pull on here is on par with about all the other Jack Wolf knives if you own any of the other ones. It's a strong pull. It's like stronger than like the Lion Steel Barlow. It's not a super light pull but that's that's what I like about it. The back spring is flush with the liner in all three positions. The closed position, the half stop, and the open and all the Jack Wolf knives have the half stop. Now the handle here is that same integral liner bolster design made from the bead blasted titanium that all of the Jack Wolf knives have. That's that's their look. Dressed up with thin micarta covers or or carbon fiber if you want to splurge. Here we have a very neutral, almost brownish green micarta, like a very faded olive drab. Midnight Jack is a bit larger than the other Jack Wolves. Not much, but a bit bigger and has a nice neutral grip. Visually, I like the addition of the fluted bolsters. And don't tell anyone that I actually just learned that that was called fluted, okay? And, uh, and if you don't know, the Jack Wolf knives retail between $275 to $300. I know that makes some people want to get out their pitchforks, but it, it is what it is. It's either something you want to pay for or something you don't want to pay for, okay? Comparisons. First, the Midnight Jack. I think it'd be pretty cool if they made some blood acrylic, you know? that That's cool, you yeah. know? Yep, yeah, I have, I have a lot of good ideas, okay? Okay, we may not have a blood red acrylic, but what we have here is a sawcut hemlock on the blade forms Barlow. Oh, look, this one has fluted bolsters too. 
Now, if you think I couldn't have used fluted in a knife-related sentence last week, well, then you're wrong, okay? I've always liked and I've always known about fluted bolsters. I, I like to consider myself a dictionary on the tiny little flourishes that manufacturers put on knives. I need to know exactly what they're called, okay? Oh, also, as a side note, did you see GEC is going to make the 2022 20, form knife? Yeah, that'll be fun to watch. Really going to try to stay away this year after the flaming I got last year. Well, I know there was 800 of us that wanted a knife, but uh, the bad news is Bill says we only get 40 knives. So uh, here's a here's a last minute revision of the rule set, and uh, we're going to need that fella that likes counting posts. He's got a lot of work to do. Now here's a midnight next to the Boker Tree Barlow. I have had some say since that video that some people that have this knife say they are really strong pulls and that mine is not normal. Wouldn't be the first time somebody told me that. Am I, am I right? I guess sounds like Boker needs to work on their QC, huh? Okay, so you've seen it next to the other Jack Wolves. How about the Beer Buster Jr.? I bought this off of Levin the other day for a good price. You know, paid about 200 bucks for it. I, I mean, it, it okay, it's a good price to sum up. Trying to trying to create a collection of cap lifters here okay and sometimes you have to pay what you have to pay right it's small and interesting on par quality fit and finish with the jack wolves here more of a sod buster pattern though i don't have to tell you that you guys are the experts might get around to this video at some point all right we're gonna wrap it up these are being released to all the standard retailers this friday the 15th and as i work on this video on sunday the 9th i hope or is it sunday the 10th now I don't know my days. I think I think I wrote this on Saturday and I put the date, but okay, whatever. So if I get my act together and get this video done in time, it'll be ready. And not spend time with Elden Ring. You know, if you see this after Friday the 15th, I chose video games instead of YouTube. Thanks to Jack Wolf for providing this review production sample. I am giving away a lot of review samples this month over on Instagram. I've been getting a bunch, so I don't need them all, and I'm getting rid of the ones that, you know, I don't want for my own collection. So head over there for the details on Instagram. I don't know if I'll give this one away, but we'll see. I'm giving away like three or four knives. I kind of like this one. I, I like. Maybe I'll give away the little bro jack. I don't know yet. Please don't hold me to that. So say hi to the patrons. They pay for my 4K camera and editing computer, so these come to you in slightly better video quality than they used to, but still with the same irritating voiceovers. So like, subscribe, comment, and thanks for watching.